Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we e infiltrated the island. Uh, and the Ganada, the Los Illuminados base of operations and proceeded deep into it to try and locate Ashley. We have an idea where she is, now we have to go find her. But off screen, I did the last shooting gallery and so let's uh, show the final bottle caps. You also get a achievement for collecting all the bottle caps. So for the final set, you get Soldier with Dynamite. Which honestly, the... <laughs> Can I assume is in? Yeah, him holding it looks it more so looks like he's freaking out. He has dynamite in his hands. Like, oh shit, I'm holding dynamite. <laughs> you have the soldier with a stun rod, which. Oh, I never noticed that detail about the mass. It's sewn to his face. Jesus. You got the soldier with the hammer, which I think these type of soldiers have a specific name. I just don't know what they're called. Got it. Isabel. There's a random villager. Uh, Maria. And JJ. I'm surprised you don't get bottle caps of any of the bosses like Krauser or uh, like uh, Salazar or anybody like that. Anyway. Got some a quick rare. talk what to the merchant. Uh, um, don't think I need to buy anything from you. What you uh, tune up. I think I want to tune up. Can I? Yes, yeah, semi. Let me upgrade its <laughs> capacity and reload speed, as that's going to be really Thank important you. coming up. Is that old stranger? Let's up the <laughs> capacity of the striker. <laughs> Thank you. Is that old? <laughs> firepower. Is that old striker? <laughs> okay, that will be all the upgrading we'll do for now. So let's proceed into exploring the base. Oh shit, didn't think those were active yet. I think we're safe here. So they're gonna occasionally open the doors. And we have to shoot them. If you try to get close to the door, they will just keep shut the door on you and you can't hurt them. Shit! This is you the herb. Make them explode. How are you still alive? Go grenade. Oh, that protects his face. I believe that's the last set of enemies, so the one that's closing the door should come rushing towards us, so we can go through the door now. Yeah, I see you. You like a... Bullshit! There we go. Took a shotgun blast in the face. Of course, there's a red herb right there. Ooh, we can open this. Grab some machine gun bullets. Uh, if this is the section I think that's coming up, this is a not a fun section. 
Uh, let me check the map layout. Oh, yeah, I think we're coming up to a section I absolutely hate. Let's grab the green herb. Save on this typewriter. Ooh, a brass pocket watch. I thought that was a snake for a second. Was that the treasure that was in this room? Apparently so. Alright, we've unlocked it from this side. The operating room. Oh yes. I recognize this area. Oh, which way do I go first? Let me read the map. Okay, yeah, that's locked. So yeah, we have to go to that tiny room first, which is going to introduce a not very fun enemy. Let me tell you that. Ooh, yes, more magnum ammo. Please give it to me. Some kind of research equipment. I wonder what it's used for. Yep, that's not fun, what we just saw. Oh, this stupid puzzle. Okay, let's operate it. I forgot about this puzzle. Um, I know there's... I think we want to do it. I don't think we ever need to touch yellow. Oh, we want, I think, the quickest solution to this thing. So let me see the colored lights. We want to make blue. Green, and then we move red. Gives us access. Loses memo free. The hideous creatures such as the El Gigante and the Novisivores were purely byproducts of the debacle and inhumane experiments conducted on the specimens that were once human. But there were one type of creatures that clearly distinguished itself from the rest, and these were called regenerators. Regenerators had a superior metabolism that allowed them to regenerate their lost body parts at incredible speeds. I have never seen anything like it. I get it. It is the characteristic that makes the almost inv inv invincible to conventional weapons. But like any living creature, there's a way to kill it. Apparently, there are plagas that live in, live in its body, some somewhat like leeches. They can be seen. With, they can't be seen with the naked eye. They can only be located through thermal imaging. To stop its regeneration process, these leeches, like plagas, must be located and then destroyed. As far as I know, the regenerators host a number of these leech-like plagas to kill the regenerators, uh, regenerators. Each one of these leech-like plagas must be killed. So foreshadow, so foreshadow to an upcoming enemy. Which, if you don't have the firmers, if you don't use the firmoscope, are not fun to deal with. What the? What kind of experiments are they doing around here?
It's, there's a key item. One tip I'm gonna give, as soon as you pick it up, you run like hell. Because that, my friends, is the regenerator. We'll come back and kill him later. So now regenerators are gonna start wandering around this hallway like they own the place. They are incredibly dangerous. They can do a lot of damage and any limbs you blow off will regenerate after a while. They can even move around while they're on the ground. So let me see. So yeah, so we want to go to the room that's in front of me. Generally, shooting them in the leg does give you a bit of time to get uh, by them. Just be quick because they can lunge at you. So, all right. So we're in the freezer, so we're safe a little bit. So I'm gonna explain a little bit more about the regenerators. Regenerators, as I mentioned, as a matter of fact, we get a nice up close view of them are extremely creepy, which I fear on how these guys are gonna be redesigned for the remake. But um, yeah, regenerators, they do a ton of damage if they touch you. If they get an attack off, they do a ridiculous amount of damage. As a matter of fact, just to be on the safe side, I am going to use its herb to fully heal me. So they do a stupid ton of damage. Uh, but what's really terrifying about them is uh, they do start off moving very slow at first. They do a very slow walk. But if a regenerator is kept alive for long enough, of, then they will actively start running towards you and they can also stretch their arms out like Mr. Fantastic to grab you and pull you towards it and it's fast and it's terrifying to see these bodies uh, these bodies must have been cybernetic etic with the pi uh, parasites still in their bodies sucks to be them yeah I think this is like I was worried for a second a regenerator walk in the rooms like that's not supposed to happen. I think this is like the process of making a regenerator. I never noticed this guy's arm was moving. Meaning this dude is alive. That is extremely creepy. I've never noticed that detail. So there's what we need. It's behind glass, but for some reason the knife can't shatter it. It's completely frozen and won't open, and because it's frozen over, we can't open the door. Uh, I know there's like a computer in here. Here we go. Yeah, so this is what we need to use to operate. This must be the key rewriter. Maybe I can rewrite the data on my card and turn it into another key card. This gives us the waste disposal key. So we can go to waste disposal. Now let's uh, warm the place up so we can get our thermal scope. Grab the infrared scope. And of course, one of those regenerators decides to wake up. So, uh, where's the thermal scope? So I want to combine that with my rifle. Okay, so where is he in the room? Those red spots you see, you want to shoot those. So, the lock has been released. Uh, so those are the parasites you need to shoot. It is possible to hit those with other weapons. It says you have to be really precise without the thermal scope. Uh, regenerators also, by the by, can have anywhere from up to one to four Plogus in them. If they have four Plogus in them, there's always one on their back. So you have to shoot their legs off to get them on their backs and then try to shoot them in the back. So 
So there's one there. Oh shit. I believe if you play on professional difficulty, all uh, regenerators are guaranteed to have four plogus in them. Oh great, I think my shoot- yeah, the sh my shooting's aggroed this one. Yeah, explode and die. Once you have the thermal scope, as long as you keep your distance from the regenerators, they're not too bad to deal with. And of course, because I believe they technically count as a special enemy, they always drop a lot of money. So let's go and kill the one in that one room. I think the one in this room always has like one or two plogus in him. Because it is possible to kill this one without the thermal. Alright, Leon. Oh nope, he has free. Please hit the plogus, Leon. Now that he's dead, now we can properly explore the room. Was there anything in here I can loot? Ooh, an emerald. Yes, please. Alright, now let's head to the waste disposal. There's a faint, ain't unpleasant odor coming from beyond this door. Smells like garbage. Alright, I don't think we're going to be running into regenerators for a while. You'll always know if there's regenerators in the room because you'll always hear them before you see them. They're not subtle about their presence. Ooh, yes, I'll take a grenade. There are levers for operating the overhead crane. Let's play a little bit of a crane game. Grab you. Have you fall to your doom. Nice and line up with you. Goodbye. Now, I believe we get one more chance to grab a dude before they will just rush our position. Bye bye. So now we just have one dude coming, so let's get a nice shotgun prepared for him. Oh, the door actually damaged him! Thank you, and grab your money that you dropped. Was that an herb I see? It's a waste dump. Maybe it leads to the lower levels. Take the green herb. Ooh, yes, yellow herb. Immediately combine a green with yellow so we can save up on some space. It's a security switch for the door on the left. Can 
can't oh, oh wait we can open some of these lockers flash grenade really is that the only locker I can open apparently so we should be closing in on Ashley now There he is. she is, uh, unsuccessfully bashing on the door. Be careful when you're shooting, because you can shoot her. Alright, got the dude behind him. He was not my intended target. Oh, s screw off! Of course you run as soon as I pull the trigger. Right, I can open you. Get some handgun ammo. Help me, Leon. It's locked. I need a key card. So we're gonna have to find a key card for the door. Hang on, Ashley. I'll be right back. Right, I can hear a guy. Hello. You away. Oh, of course you're a goddamn Plagas. Let's get some distance between you guys. Incoming incendiary! Look at this, is he stuck on me? Some satyrs, some rifle ammo. Reload the striker. Can't wait to get the deluxe for the striker. What are these x-rays showing? Ooh, shotgun bullets. Yes, please. Uh, let me check my map. Ooh, right, there's like a little uh, secret thing coming up that we can miss. So type that down. Kick open the door. Nothing in there. All this lab equipment. All right, I need to get my rifle out. There's the key card, and there's a brand new enemy. You may think it's a regenerator, but it's not. It is instead called the Iron Maiden. These bad boys have more plugs in them than a normal regenerator, and those spikes on their body is not for show. They do way more damage than a regular regenerator. And they always have a Plogus on their back. Storage room keycard. You don't encounter them very often, thankfully, but when you do, run away, get some distance, and then start going to town um, with them on your, with your sniper rifle. If you thought the regenerators are bad, Iron Maidens are worse. As a matter of fact, I think they regenerate much faster than regular regenerators. Some rifle bullets. Ooh, 
This looks like living tissue, but from what? The ones here are larger and more grotesque. A red. Combine it with this one, so we have a full heal and a health extension. Give me an herb. What are they growing in these uh, petal dish dishes? Let's go out here. This is a optional area you can explore. You... I forgot there were crows here. And they're too high up to be affected by the flash grenade, are they? Uh, will they respawn if I go in and then come back out? I honestly forgot about those crows. Yes, they do. Get a replacement flash grenade. And tons of money. I believe it's the last time you ever encounter crows. Also, the merchants is hanging out here. An incendiary. Ooh, nutty yellow herb. Yes, please. I'm gonna have to start using some of my grenades. Let's combine two greens and use that for a heal. Welcome. Got a selection of. Good thing, what do you sell? Uh, let me see, what can I sell? You can always sell back the tactical bass if you want. Ooh, I'm one firepower, one reload, and one capacity upgrade away from its exclusive. Exclusive. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> that is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Ah, I will Buy it at a high, high price. price. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Let me see, can I finish upgrading the striker? Is that all strange? Up capacity. Is that all strange? Up reload. Stranger. Damn it, I'm broke. Come back any time. So close to fully upgrading the striker so I can get it exclusive. Down the door. This is Leon. Request backup. I repeat, request backup. The radio signal's being jammed. I can't contact my people. So yeah, you get that small cutscene of Leon trying to call for help. This is a optional cutscene that you can completely miss as you never need to come here. Here as Leon. Ooh, herb. Here's all the dead crows. Okay, now let's head, head for Ashley. Time we go save her. Alright, there's gonna be enemies on the way back. Pop a quick 
save here. Jerks. Alright. Wanna be like that? Here's a grenade for you. Here's a grenade. Just have you go sliding down the stairs. Where are you? All right, that was all of them. Okay. I don't think he dropped anything. So get some money. No, you're not like a locker or anything I can open up. Almost to Ashley's location. Wait, I went completely past where I'm supposed to go, am I? Yes, I did. God damn it. Thinking one step ahead. Also, I'm really glad I have this tactical vest. That's right, because I checked the door, Ashley stopped crying, so... Have to get access to the storage room. We gotta look for Ashley. She should hopefully still be here. Leon. You okay? Come on, let's get out of here. And that's it for that chapter. We're done with chapter uh, five one, and in the next chapter we're doing chapter five two, the bulldozer. I forgot that was coming up. All right, let me see. Our hit ratio is about sixty nine percent, and and make all the memes you want there. Killed seventy seven enemies, not too bad, and didn't die once. So we'll save, and I'll see you in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this, do like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode, and do share the video so more people can discover my content and help, and, and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later.